video, we're going to look at the top five most common questions asked in Burger King interviews. And so let's start with the first one, which is basically guaranteed to come up. And it is what hours can you work? And people notoriously do extremely badly on this. And I'm going to show you how you can answer this question really well, because this question often decides whether you get the job or not. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to start with an honest answer. If your answer is not believable, you're setting yourself up for trouble. Then you're going to show off as much flexibility as you possibly can. And most importantly, you're going to show them that you are committed to the job and you're going to be there when they need you. So some fantastic things to mention to get the attention of the hiring manager is if you can work late shifts, that's a really difficult time to staff. So if you can say, I can be there, that helps. Weekends are really difficult to staff. So mentioning that is really great. Instead of talking about how everything is this huge barrier and you couldn't possibly work at these times, you can talk about how you have managed your other commitments so that they're not going to be such a big problem. If you can work the school holidays, even if only part of it, mentioning that you have capacity to work at certain times during the school holidays or ideally any of the school holidays is really great. And you should always use the language of, you know, preferring something but being flexible. You always want to come back to that flexibility. And a great way to structure your answer is focus on what you can do and not what you can't do. Don't mention things you can't do unless you're absolutely pressed on it. But even then, you want to show that um, you can be as flexible as possible. So, you know, I would prefer this. However, I can be flexible up to this point. You've got to show that flexibility. People do badly on this question because they start by going, I can't do late shifts, I can't work weekends, and you're just giving them reasons not to hire you. So be positive and focus on what you can do. The next question we're going to look at is what can you tell us about Burger King? And this is a really easy question if you've done your research. And so I'm going to show you a simple method to plan fantastic answers to this. So you can start by mentioning all of the obvious things. You have to mention things that everyone knows. So that's the center of my diagram. And as you work out, your answer gets better. So cover the basics, show that you've got a basic knowledge, you know what Burger King sells, you know the menu items, and you know the basic concept. Then start to move out to things that only some people would know. So you might talk about it being part of restaurant brands, that big stock market listed um, franchising company. You can talk about the most stores are franchises, you can talk about the international businesses, and you could talk about their founding when they were known as Insta Burger King in 1953. And then if you want to really show that you've done amazing research, move out and put in a few little facts that you found in your research that only very, very few people would know. And I've given you a suggestion to talk about their foundation. And also the top tip to really get amazing information is to read the annual report of restaurant brand. And that's where you'll find extremely detailed information that puts the company in a positive light because that's the company's official annual report. And if you've read that and can talk about reading it and talk about the key facts, that's going to massively impress the person. If you can just overwhelm them with amazing research, they'll just max out the score on the question and you'll move on. And we are moving on now. So how will you handle difficult customers? And if you follow a four-step procedure for answering this question, you create a great answer. So you're going to start by talking about this thing called de-escalation. You're going to make the situation better. So you're going to start calming everyone down. You're then going to make sure you follow the company's policy fully. So if the customer is asking for something that is physically not possible or it is in violation of the company's policies, you can't cave into that you're always going to follow the company's policies. But you're always going to be showing empathy. You're going to be friendly, you're going to be polite, empathetic, and always calming the situation down. And lastly, you want to talk about that you're going to positively represent the brand. Show them that you understand that when you put on a Burger King uniform, that you are representing the brand, you are the public face of the brand, and you're going to make sure that no matter how angry the customer is, that the Burger King brand looks good because you don't want to be in your Burger King uniform with 2 million views on YouTube because you handled the situation 
awfully and it went viral. And the number one piece of advice is don't get angry. Just tell them that I will not get angry. And if needed, I will ask for support. Four steps and then mention the last bit and you've got a great answer. So let's move on and look at strengths and weaknesses. Common interview question. So we'll start by looking at strengths. And to do a great answer for a strength, you need something that's genuine. You have to actually have this as a strength. Don't just make up a strength that you can't back up. You have to have one that you really do possess. Then, to make your answer powerful, you want it to be well evidenced. You want the person to have no doubt that you definitely have that strength. And then, most importantly, it has to be highly relevant to the job. It's no good being an excellent chess player. They don't care. They want something that's relevant to the job. And so I've given you a ridiculously good answer as an example. So this is a person saying, I'm very good at providing excellent service to challenging customers, which is something that you will encounter in a daily life working in a Burger King restaurant. And then to make the answer even more impressive, you could link it to some hard evidence. So it's not just you making this up. You can actually evidence it. For example, referring to a reference that you've got from a previous manager where she is basically backing up exactly the strength that you are relying on. Then let's move to weaknesses. Weaknesses is a dangerous one. And you can throw an interview on this question. So you have to be very careful, think about it, plan it. So you're going to start with a real weakness. The classic terrible interview question, interview answer rather, is to say I'm way too much of a perfectionist. Well, that's not actually a weakness. That's rubbish. However, you don't want to say something that is massively important to the job or something that you're not actually doing anything about. So you need something that's not important, that is a weakness, but you're actually doing something about it. And so if you were to say something like, I can often come across as a little bit rude, that's massively important for the job. And by saying that, you're probably going to throw the interview. So something that is a weakness that you're doing something about, but it's not important. And the way you're going to structure your answer is you're going to say, one of the weaknesses I am aware of, the word aware is very important. So you know that you know that this is a weakness. And then you want to talk about how you're working on it and you're going to overcome it and what support that you could get from the organization that would get you over this weakness. And finally, let's look at question five. Why do you want to work for Burger King? And there can be many reasons and they have to all be genuine and you have to give your answer with some enthusiasm. And I've given you a list of things you might want to consider. You could go back to your research and how that fits in with your motivation for applying. You can talk about what your skills are and how the job matches your skills. For example, you love working with customers. You really love working in a customer facing role. And that's exactly what you're going to do. You love managing people. You're applying for a manager role. So fit your skills and your interests with the role that you're applying to and link those in a very solid way. You can talk about the development opportunities. So research what training and what progression opportunities you have and talk about a long term career with Burger King, which would be a great thing to mention. And you can talk about being a Fortune 500 company. If you know someone that works there, you can talk about their positive impressions and how that got you more interested in working for the company. And finally, you can talk about how much you love the brand and how you want to be part of that. And as a bonus, I've included some suggestions for some questions to ask. It's always a good idea to ask questions at the end of the interview. A lack of questions is very negative. So I would advise memorizing a few of those questions so you're prepared. And lastly, always ask one question that is directly based on something that's come up in the interview. So while you're going through the interview, be listening to what the other person's saying. Interviews are a two-way process. And if you spot something that's important and you want to query, keep a mental note of it and then ask it in the interview and say, I noticed earlier you were asking about this or you were telling me about this. Can you tell me a bit more about that? So always bring something up and ask about that thing that has been discussed previously. So hopefully this video was helpful to you. Good luck with your Burger King interview and thank you very much for watching.